I'm breaking down the layers of vegan banana cream pie to show you just how easy this dessert can be. Layers of sliced banana, silky smooth vegan custard, and coconut whipped cream sit on top of a crunchy sweet crust. Hey there, I'm Molly Thompson from What Molly Made. Welcome back to my kitchen where we make good food that makes you feel good too. Today we are making a vegan banana cream pie that works for any occasion. I'm gonna teach you how to make each layer so you can enjoy a vegan, gluten-free, and dairy-free dessert. Let's start by making the two ingredient crust. Add three cups of your favorite grain-free and vegan crunchy cookies to a food processor or blender. We like to use two to three bags of Siete, Hugh Kitchen, or Simple Mills crunchy cookies. Pulse that until it turns into crumbs, then pour one third a cup of melted vegan butter or coconut oil on top and pulse again until it reaches the consistency of wet sand. Press the mixture into the bottom and sides of a greased nine inch springform pan or a deep pie dish. I like to use a small measuring cup to press down and up the sides of the pan to create the crust. Bake the crust at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes, then remove it from the oven and let it cool on a wire rack. While the crust is baking, let's get started on the vegan pastry cream. Whisk together one and a half cups of coconut cream, one and one fourth cups of almond milk, a half a cup of cornstarch, and a third a cup of granulated cane sugar or maple syrup until the cornstarch is dissolved. Place the saucepan over medium heat and add two tablespoons of vegan butter, a fourth a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a pinch of turmeric for color. Cook the mixture for five to seven minutes, stirring constantly until the cream thickens enough to coat the back of a spoon. You'll know it's done when it leaves small ribbons of custard on the surface as you lift the whisk out of the pan. Remove the saucepan from the heat and immediately whisk in one tablespoon of vanilla extract, then continue to whisk frequently for eight to 10 minutes, making sure it keeps smooth and creamy. When the crust is done and has cooled slightly, Arrange two sliced bananas all over the bottom so they're touching. Pour the custard over the bananas and spread it into an even layer. Cover the pie with plastic wrap so that it touches the filling and then refrigerate for two to four hours or until cold. This prevents any sort of film to form on the top of the custard. You could also freeze it for about an hour if you're in a rush. Before serving, add two cups of chilled coconut cream to a mixing bowl and whip with a hand mixer or a stand mixer fitted with the whisk attachment until fluffy and smooth, about three minutes. Add two tablespoons of maple syrup and one teaspoon of vanilla and beat again until combined. Remove the chilled pie from the fridge or freezer and spread the coconut whipped cream on top. Use a hand peeler to shave dairy-free and vegan chocolate on top of the whipped cream. The thick slices of banana add the perfect banana flavor, and no one will know that this silky smooth custard is completely vegan, and it looks as good as it tastes. I can't wait for you to tackle this vegan dessert in your kitchen. If you do, drop a comment and let me know what you think, because I would love to connect with you. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. If you want to keep making desserts with me, check out these thick and chewy tahini brownies.